History was made today as the Senate confirmed Ketanji Brown Jackson to the U.S. Supreme Court. Jackson will be the first black woman to be a justice on the highest court of the land. West News Gail Pascal Brown is live in studio tonight with reaction from FAMU mm -hmm. law students as they watch this extraordinary moment happen. Gail. Yeah, this was definitely a page turner. Applause rang out at Florida A&M University Law School the moment the Senate voted to confirm Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. These law students say this is monumental on so many fronts. 51-year-old Jackson will become the Supreme Court's 116th justice and the first black woman ever to sit on its bench. It's so liberating for myself and definitely so for my peers because I feel like we finally got into a place of progression rather than us always being told to be patient with this system. You don't think that those things are attainable for you until you see it happen. And now that it's happened, I feel like today has made it great for us, or for me personally. It makes me proud because it shows that, you know, it gives, it gives people of color uh, that any, anything you do in this life, if you work hard at it, and uh, you can achieve, you know, if you believe you can achieve. It just makes the whole, the whole event just something where I feel is a turning point hopefully in American jurisprudence because we have someone who is well-tempered, balanced, knowledgeable, and fearless. <laughs> the FAMU law students say it's so important to see images which look like them in spaces they would like to be someday. We also heard from Congressman Val Deming's office today. She congratulated Justice Jackson. Deming said in part, and I quote, as a former 27-year law enforcement officer and chief of police, I have been extraordinarily impressed by Justice Jackson's devotion to the Constitution, the law, and our public safety. Back to you.